Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Gaming and Still Life. And today we're going to be testing uh, Google Earth. And I'm going to do a seasoned experience to show you how easy it is to do um, all these apps on the seasoned experience. And uh, all right. Now, what I like about what I like about this is. very easy to use. Uh, now you can't see it but I can see the invisible walls and right here is where my wall hits and I believe yeah that's right where I, I set it to where uh, it's safe so I don't hit my screen or anything like that. Um, uh, it's a very easy to use. Uh, I will tell you when you first start the program and you just hit anything on here on the uh, start wheel. Uh, now something that I did notice that this has is just barely touching on the pad, you can see where your finger is, which I thought it was pretty cool. And it's weird because no other Steam game that I've run across has this uh, ability or feature. Now, if uh, this is the arm that you want to be your pointer, you hit start with this. It's a, uh, you hit start. Okay, somehow I got off of the... Uh... Alright, and I feel like I am... Like, for example, if I point the laser at this mountain, my head is about this high. It feels like I'm a huge giant overlooking this giant canyon. And if I look, this is... Calabaca, Greece. Let's look and see. Now, if you put this um, bubble to your face, uh, it shows you a street view, like on uh, Google Maps, of uh, exactly what it looks like. Like, see, those are the mountaintops over there. And if I pull the bubble, those are the mountaintops I'm looking at. Extremely cool. Now, in order to navigate, and basically you have this over here, which tilts the earth up and this is to fly forward or to fly back so if I am pushing straight up I will go straight up and if I can look down it makes me feel like a god now everything the resolution is very good I can see far away uh, the houses look like you know when you're flying in an airplane and you look down and you see like the little houses and stuff that look like they're like little toys or fake. That's exactly what it looks like. Uh, all I have to do is point, this point, and I just fly forward and that's where I will go. Now if you notice, uh, my peripheral vision like will get uh, like a gridded, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there'll be a grid around it and that's to uh, prevent any kind of motion sickness. Now, I have found that when I have my experience with the Windows Mixed Reality and the combination between that and my computer, now my specs are posted on my uh, YouTube description that I have not run into any problem thus far with uh, VR sickness, the simulation sickness. And I think that's because of the high frame rates. Now, when I did have uh, my PlayStation uh, VR, I did experience uh, uh, some motion sickness, and that's why I had to get rid of it. But with this, I have not. And the easy to use and the plug and play is very simple. Now, what I love about this is, okay, I'm right here. And it says I am at, what does that say? Uh, Castrica, some kind of street. Let's see where I'm at. All right. Now, the bubble, you just put it to your face and it automatically does. I can point to anywhere I want, and we can point it to that house over here. And I'll just go on this little intersection right here, where all these... Now it says it does not have a street view available. It does that sometimes. Now if I just want to pivot in place, or not, and not have to turn around, I just pick where I want to go, and I just turn it with the uh, grip button. So it's very simple. Uh, now, I 
can tilt the earth up like this. And basically, I now I'm facing directly over the earth and I can pull back. So I'm basically going up into the air. I can see the edge of the, um, of the globe. It looks beautiful. Now, when, until you experience virtual reality for the first time, this scene right here is gorgeous. It looks like it goes for at least a mile up. That's how I feel. I feel like in this space, there is our star, uh, our beautiful uh, star that we have in our solar system. Um, now, when I have this view right here, I can kind of get, like, get a feeling to where I'm at. Uh, I can see like different countries. I'm not really sure where I'm at. So let's fly a little bit higher into space. And this is as far away as I can get. Now, I don't know what you're seeing at home, but my view is, let's see. I can see, I can see, I can see my controller. So right about there. So I am seeing from here. Here. Now, uh, there is 
Uh, it says to save up here on that button right there, but you don't push that because the controls are a little different from the HTC Vive. There's a button right here, the menu button right below the trackpad. If you push that, it will save your current location. So you say, wow, you know what? I like this a lot. I'm going to save it. You push that button. Now, if you want to go to the menu and the right stick, the one you're using to point with, I will push it. And now I can choose some pre... Um, places that they have. So let's go to Manhattan. How about that? And this is a beautiful Manhattan. Let's see what the street view looks like. Isn't that incredible? Now to me, they look like somebody made model like models about maybe that one looks like it's about two three foot that one looks like it's taller than me let's go down the street over here i'm going to check out this tall building now they look like i said like little cardboard three-dimensional little cardboard uh made and painted uh trees they uh they look like some of it looks like origami it looks really cool I want to check out this really tall building over here. See, I haven't been to New York. When I went, there were still buildings in Freedom Tower. And I don't know if this is just a complete... Okay, I'm on West New York, uh, West Street. Let's see what we look at. Wow. Wow, that guy's head is having a bad day. So I'm gonna fly up like Superman. I push up and I'm flying up. Now, I wanna show you something really cool. You push the menu button and I pick over, Golden Gate Bridge, it's Google Headquarters. Something I thought was really cool that most people have never experienced, a solar eclipse from space. Now I know you can't appreciate this like you do in VR. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. I mean, I can't explain it. You see this little shadow right here? That is when the moon goes in front of our star and does a solar eclipse and it casts a shadow on the planet. Now if I look behind me, there it is. Now I can see, it looks like a body, of, uh, maybe the size of a marble, going in front of something the size of a, like a grapefruit or something. That's what it looks like, so the grapefruit's really bright. But until you witness it, from, from where I'm standing, it's beautiful. And I don't know if it's coming through or not, but they play this very mellow music. I wish it would have a there is no uh, view from out here. But let's say I want to see what it looks like from down at the planet. That's as far as we go. So I have to tilt the world back up. And it's very dark. And it looks like I am out in the middle of some kind of desert, maybe? There it is. That's magnificent. Very magnificent. All right, let's just go somewhere random. I'll tilt the world up, and I'm going to fly away from it, away from the eclipse, and let's see.
come back down. It gives you a little bit better view. And this is, or you can see where the desert meets the, um, some random place. It's, it's so random out here that I'm gonna go up a little bit and go more towards this kind of road right here, was it? Sometimes if your internet connection is not working, uh, it will not give you a street view. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Mount Fuji. And to me, it looks taller than what I am. Alright, there is a street view here. And this is going up the summit of the mountain. Let's go up, 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 and I want to show you something really cool about Mount Fuji. Like, if you look at the top of it, it looks like there's a giant crater the size of, like, my house. It's magnificent. Let's go towards the crater a little bit more. Let's see if it shows you a picture. That's what it looks like. It's huge. All right. Now let's go over here to the other side of the summit, and we'll look over here. A little bit closer, right here. And we're part of the mountain. I just can't get enough of this program. Anyways, uh, this program is for free and it does work with the Windows Mixed Reality headset. Um, thank you for going on this little tour of Google Earth and uh, I think you should definitely check it out if you uh, have a headset or if you're thinking about getting one. Um, it's something to uh, look forward to. Thank you very much and this was Gaming It's Still Life and you have a good night and remember, you know, keep, um, keep dreaming. Please hit the like button if you liked it, if you didn't.